Okay, quick video on converting velocities. Let's start out with converting 22 meters per second to kilometers per hour. Okay, you always have faith in the cross, so you start with the cross. And you always put what you have in the top left corner. But in this case, we have a slash right here and a second on the bottom. This is our slash, so I can't put another slash here. This is the slash, so the second goes on the bottom. So now we have something on the bottom. I've got to get meters converted to kilometers, and that's the first thing I'm going to worry about. I want to get rid of my meters, so I'm going to put it next door downstairs, and I can go straight from meters to kilometers. Using my conversion chart, I find out that one kilometer contains one E3 meters. By the way, if you don't know how to read your conversion chart, on your AP Physics 1 equation sheet, there is a video, and you need to watch the video on how to read this. Okay, moving on. I've gotten rid of meters now, and I've got the unit of kilometers for length, so I'm halfway there. Now I've got to get seconds converted to hours. Seconds is on the bottom, so if I put it next door downstairs, it won't cancel out. In order to cancel things out, I have to have them upstairs and downstairs. So since seconds is already on the bottom, I put it next door upstairs, and hours goes downstairs. This is not on your conversion table. You need to memorize that there are 3,600 seconds in one hour. This will make your life easier. Seconds cancel, and I'm left with kilometers on top, yay me, hours on bottom, yay me. So I've got to put all of this into my calculator. I can ignore the ones, and as long as I hit times in front of 3600 and divided by in front of 1E3, it doesn't matter what order I put this in. I can say 22 times this divided by this, or 22 divided by this times this. So entering that into my calculator, 22 divided by 1 second E3, do not use times 10 carat top because it will mess your whole thing up. Use the E button. Times 3600 gives me 7.92 times 10 to the first would be my answer. 7.92 E1 kilometers per hour. Okay, let's do another one together quickly. I'm going too fast. Pause. Take a good look at what's going on and then move to the second one. Okay, let's say I've got 78 kilometers per hour. And I want to know how many meters per second that is. So once again, I'm going to start with a cross and I put what I have in the top left hand corner. Okay, I need to get kilometers converted to meters. I'm going a little quick here. Just a reminder, there's a slash here and ours is on bottom. So make sure that you have something on the bottom here and it should be ours. Okay, now moving on. I want to go from kilometers to meters. So if I want to get rid of kilometers, it has to go next door, downstairs, and then meters on the top. Using my conversion chart, I read that one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters, or one times ten to the third meters. Kilometers is gone, meters is left, I'm halfway there. Now I've got to get rid of hours and get that converted to seconds. So you keep adding crosses until you get what you want. So if I want to get rid of hours and it's downstairs, it needs to go next door upstairs this time. Seconds down. One hour is 3600 seconds. Hours cancel and now I have just seconds left. As long as you hit times in front of 1000 and divided by 3600 you should be home free. So in my calculator 78 times 1E3 
divided by 3600 gives me 2.17 E1 meters on top, seconds on the bottom. Okay. All right, make sure you don't get these numbers confused. I have students say that the one meter is equal to a thousand kilometers all the time. Just thinking process and not logical, so go back and check yourself. I have students say that 3,600 hours is equal to one second, so be careful not to make those mistakes. Okay, I'm going to give you two more problems. So let me pop the problems up here, or, well, let me write them. And after I write these problems, I want you to pause. I'm going to write two problems. I want you to pause your video, do the problems, and then come back on and see if you have the correct answers. So 40 meters per second to kilometers per hour, and 50 kilometers per hour to meters per second. Okay, pause the video, work it, and then come back. Okay, welcome back. First one, you should have got about 144 kilometers per hour. If you're answering in scientific notation, which is what you have to do on the quiz, it would be 1.44 times 10 to the second kilometers per hour. For the bottom one, 1.39 times 10 to the first meters per second. If you got it, good job. Keep up the good work.